Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be discussing a newcomer to the Eastgate Arena, a company called Beyond Armor, and they pride themselves on making protective armor for PEV riders that has a minimalist look. So you don't have to wear something that's so bulky and it doesn't look like armor, but it's clothing apparel that has built-in armor to keep you protected and keep you looking stylish. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what it looks like. And then I'll be doing some riding today as well to see how I actually like the armor. So it comes in a cool bag. And then it looks like they ship it inside of a, a larger bag here with the logo on there. That looks pretty nice. This can also be used as just a regular bag. So I probably just will throw this bag in my backpack just in case I need to carry something. So that looks cool. Let's open it up, take everything out. So of course, we have our armor. Go ahead and look at it. We have the, this looks like maybe the shoulder pads. That looks cool as well. Sit that over here. Then of course they gave us lots of stickers. A lot of companies do this. I'll find somewhere to stick these. My son loves stickers, so can never have enough stickers. Then this looks like the spine or back protector here as well. And I guess they set up instructions document as well. Now Beyond Armor has different tiers of armor. So I believe this is um, the lowest tier of armor that they have on their website. And they have another tier. So if you want a little bit more protection or the phone to be a little bit thicker, you can do that. But I like the way this feels actually. It's, it feels like the point where if you were to fall where you would hit, it's, it's really spongy in there. So if you were to fall, hit your elbow, this looks like it would do some good job protecting. All right. So this is the actual jacket here. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a coat or just a regular shirt almost. So it doesn't necessarily look like armor. So somebody looking at you with this on, they may not necessarily know that it's armor but they may see your shoulders and stuff. It just looks like you're working out in the gym. <laughs> so that's what it looks like there. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. These buttons feel pretty strong. I, I like that. It doesn't feel flimsy. So when you unbutton it, you can see it reveals the actual zipper, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and unzip it, see what it looks like. Then it looks like we have nets in there as well uh, to get that ventilation. So that's what it looks like on the interior. And then of course you'd have to slide in the armor at the different points in the jacket. So it's my understanding that this jacket also has a zipper underneath here, and this is for ventilation. So you can unzip that so that the air flows through the jacket to kind of keep you a little bit cooler. So this looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slide the armor in the jacket. And then when I come back, you'll just see me have it on. So let's just go ahead and do that there. I like the way the jacket feels. It's a little chilly out here today, so I like that it's um, pretty warm too, I like that. So I feel the padding in my elbow portion here. I think I wanna slide this pad down some, so I'm hoping I can slide this one down because I feel like it's a little too high, but I, hopefully I can adjust that. And I feel the back protector. Um, let me see. So I can feel that as well. And then I feel my shoulders here. So it feels pretty good. Um, feels pretty good. Let me go ahead and just zip it up for the camera. So looking something like that. All right. So I like it. it, it feels warm. It's very comfortable feeling. I like it so far, but let me go ahead and slide the pads down. Let me see, or is that, is that about right? I think I wanna slide it down. So I'm gonna slide them down and uh, probably the next time you see me, it will be my initial thoughts on the jacket after having worn it and written in it for several days. So 
See you in a few. All right, so I've had an opportunity to rock and wear the Beyond Armor for about a month now. And to be honest about it, it's been my primary protective jacket since I received it, just riding almost on a daily basis. So I feel I have a good amount of information and put the jacket through its paces to kind of give you guys my initial impressions and thoughts on this jacket. Now, some of the things that I really enjoy about the jacket are, of course, the fact that the area where you actually place the padding, there's areas and components in a section in there that allows you to actually lock the pads in place in multiple points. So what that means is no matter your height or the length of your arm or your forearm, you can ensure that the pad is sitting where it should be sitting in case you actually do have an impact and the pad is not sliding out of place. So that's definitely something that is a welcome addition. Now, what's interesting about that is a lot of jackets that you see that lock the pads in place, they do so with the button on the outside. So Beyond Armor chose to do it from the inside to kind of keep with that minimalist look so that the jacket doesn't look like something that is armor. So I thought that that was pretty cool there. Now you're also on the inside of the jacket gonna notice that it has multiple pockets on the inside. So you can place your phone, a watch, glasses, different things like that. So you can kind of free up your pockets and your pants, which is something that I enjoy as well. Underneath the armpit area, you're gonna notice that you also have zippers there that you can open. It kind of helps with ventilation when you're riding the board, especially when the weather can get somewhat warm. One of the things that really stood out to me, and initially I didn't know why it was this way, but after Beyond Armor explained it to me, it made a lot of sense. The jacket is longer than a typical jacket slash shirt. And I noticed this because I tried to put my phone in my back of my pants pocket and I was struggling because the jacket was so long. So I was like, man, why is this jacket so long? So I hit up Beyond Armor and they told me that that is actually a feature that they built into the jacket because when you fall down, especially when you're doing e-skate or EUC, a lot of times people get roll rash on their buttocks or their hip area. So the jacket being a little bit longer, what that does is provide that protection in case you were to fall to kind of help minimize roll rash. So I thought that that was something that was pretty cool and I haven't seen that before. I have a couple of protective jackets here at the house and one of the things I always notice is that they're really short. They're like literally right at your waist area and if you even bend over, it exposes your back area. So it's cool that Beyond Armor actually has that built into the jacket. So that's definitely something that is really cool there. Now, some of the things I think consumers should be aware about if they are considering this particular jacket was that when I was on the website, when you make the purchase, when you purchase the jacket, it actually doesn't come with the armor. You have to select the level of armor that you want and that goes in addition to the cart of just purchasing the jacket. So for example, if you purchase the jacket, you have to select do you want level one armor or level two armor and then that gets added on to the cost of the jacket. So I just thought that that was something that was pretty interesting there and just wanted to make the consumers aware of that. So what are my final thoughts to this jacket? I like the jacket, it's very low profile. It met my standard of, could I go in the store and buy a loaf of bread and not be noticed? And it's just a really minimalist looking jacket slash shirt, but provides very good protection. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, when you get ready to purchase a jacket, you have the option of level one pads or level two pads. Um, I was actually sent the level one pads and I like the jacket so much that I'm actually considering purchasing the level two pads because they just provide a little bit more protection you know if you're riding at higher speeds and such like that if you were to have an impact uh finally i also want to mention really quick is that they also offer beyond armor also offers like a or an extended warranty that you can kind of purchase so what happens is if you purchase the crash warranty and you have a fall or an accident you can reach out to beyond armor and they will ship you another protective jacket for half off which is a pretty cool feature as well if you want to learn more about this jacket, I have a link down in the description where you can visit the website. And if you actually want to purchase the jacket, you can save a little cheese by utilizing my discount code and my link, which also supports the channel. As always, PEVs allow you to be everywhere, and I will see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded.